Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Shadow of Death, the second and final official expansion for the legendary turn-based strategy series. Don Hayes is the name, and Heroes of Might and Magic 3 is the game. It seems Etheric, my old master, has finally tracked me down. He hasn't been too happy about me becoming a necromancer, who wants to remove the blight from his career. Etheric is no fool. He spread word of my location to those who would stop me. It does not matter. I will defeat these fools, soundly beat my master, and continue on to Deja, where they will appreciate my talents. Alrighty, folks, welcome to the second to last campaign for Shadow of Death, Rise of the Necromancer. Sandro must fight his way past his old master and several other lords who want the artifacts he carries. Once in Deja, he will make allies and soon rise to the top of the Deja hierarchy. Scenario 1, target. Defeat all of Sandro's enemies to win the scenario. However, if Sandro is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Sandro is limited to level 5, but will carry his experience, skills and spells onto the next scenario. Ooh, I... I'd want to go plus two attack, but I think we need to go lightning bolt on impossible difficulty. Let's do this. At last, you have the cloak of the undead king and the armor of the damned. Your plans to take over Deja can now commence. Etheric, your old master, became furious when he received word you would become a necromancer. When he learns about your plans with these two artifacts, he will be absolutely livid. You have also learned Etheric has spread word of your whereabouts to those who lost those two precious artifacts, and to others who have their own reasons for despising necromancers. Your journey to Deja might have a difficult start, so you send a party of scouts ahead to search for any signs of an ambush. Alright, so Armour of the Damned, all opponents have these spells effective on them for 50 turns, Slow Curse, Weakness and Misfortune. And then Cloak of the Undead King, 30% of the dead are resurrected as skeletons. If Hero already has the Necromancy skill, then the percentages are added to the skill, and the level of skill determines what type is resurrected. Basic Zombies, Advanced Whites, and Expert Liches. Damn, we need Expert Necromancy ASAP Rocky then. Um, I also need money. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Um, man, being limited to level 5 is oof. You have just received a threatening letter from the Barbarians due west. It reads, Sandro, my name is Jedity. Perhaps you remember me? If your memories are not clouded by your undead mind, we were students together under Etheric. By becoming Necromancer, you have completely shamed me, for it was I who introduced you to Etheric. I should have listened to him. From the start, he doubted your ability to wisely endure the burden of magical knowledge. Etheric told me of the two artifacts now in your possession. Know this, Sandro. You will not get past me on your journey to Deja. I have allied with the Rampart Town up north, and they stand with me against you. I will take the artifacts from your rotting corpse and return them to Etheric. You do remember this Jedity. Not only was he one of Etheric's best students, he was also your best friend, so he feels guilty for introducing you to Etheric. You will have to find a way to use this weakness against him. That's good. Oh gosh, I'm about to be attacked already. Wow. Um, that does not bode well. Not gonna lie. It's a big army as well. It's not what I wanted at all. Oof. 
Oh, really? What's this guy's movement like? Wow. Woof. That's, um, okay. That's savage. Actually, what's this one called? Target. Do this instead. Wow, that's so ridiculous. I can't believe just how quickly they attack. <clears throat> really not helpful at all, is it? Your spies send a message. My sovereign, as difficult as our travels may be now, we don't foresee them getting any easier. We have learned desert surrounds our base of operations. This desert is infested with hostile creatures guarding all mines, taverns, and anything else they can lay claim to. Our enemies have great numbers with many heroes to command them. You must travel very carefully and be prepared for battle at all times. I'll take his base to be honest if we can base trade that probably put me in good stead your neighboring town is coming into view Jedity has become quite a powerful lord as well as a powerful warlock you have learned he is a man of his word and has never backed down from battle you wonder if going into combat against a former friend will affect his strategy after all both sides have the advantage of knowing exactly what and how each other will act in battle Boy. No idea what's in their base, defend. Your advisors remind you it's been almost a week since you received that threatening letter from your old friend. They suggest you reply to it soon if you are to use your friendship to your advantage. You order for a messenger. Deliver this message to Jedity. I have received your letter of warning. Am I supposed to run and hide, fearful of your vow to stop me? No. Your threat only strengthens my resolve. I will take these artifacts to Deja where I shall use them to rise to the top of the Deja hierarchy. You and your pitiful little band cannot stop me. If you stand in my way, I will kill every living soul under your command and convert their undead bodies to my cause. By the way, thank you for introducing me to the powers of magic. Without your help, I would never have achieved such greatness. The messenger quickly writes your message onto a scroll and goes on his way. You wonder to yourself if the message was perhaps a little too confident, 
but hopefully giving him a glimpse of the monster he helped to create will shatter his own confidence. Oh dear. Oh no, we got this. Thankfully we lightning bolt. Okay, yeah, now that's much better. Alright, that's good. Base training with him is absolutely necessary. Okay, okay, okay. What spells has he got? Oh, he's only got level ones. Okay, that's fine. And he's building my base up for me as well, which is great. Would have liked to have converted them, but never mind. I feel like this is good. Yeah, the problem is, morale's going to be really bad. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. I need to uh, take this guy out ASAP, Rocky. I don't have any citadels or anything, which is great. Oh, of course he has. That is rather annoying. No, 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 no. No reason why you lose that. I do want air magic. I really want expert um, necromancy as well. Really? We lose this? You've gotta be kidding me. How strong is this guy? Pretty strong. Um. Anti-magic. Ooh. Okay. Let's see how that could be a problem. also a problem. Thanks. Oof. 
Ooh, jeez, that was close. Ooh, yes, perfect. Too bad it didn't kick in on that battle, but at least now we can resurrect liches for future battles. That is going to be absolutely massive. All right, one down. Sending a message confidently announcing your intentions to your enemy is not normally your approach. You prefer a deceitful manipulation or a surprise attack to the chivalry of civilized warfare. However, you are paying your advisors a large sum of gold to reveal your enemy's weaknesses to you, and they advise you thusly. Send a message to all towns in this area announcing you hold the artifacts. Then explain with excruciating detail just how terribly powerful you will become when you use them. Tell them if they don't permit you to pass, you will use the artifacts in battle and cast the shadow of death over their land. You agree that the announcement will at the very least shake your enemy's confidence and perhaps even delay them with a debate so that you can continue your journey into Dasia. If the message fails to deter them from blocking your passage, then you can always fall back on the more sinister methods of persuasion you prefer. After several hours of rough drafts and wine goblets, you finally settle upon the final wording to be sent out at the next dawn. Nice. Okay, um, what's next? Let's take out Tan. Tan's just up here. Just need to get some money. Your spies report overhearing the following conversation between Lord Ufritin and one of his commanders. Yes sir, Ethric's message was received this morning. Sandro is in the area and does hold the artifacts. We have replied to Ethric that we will retrieve the artifacts and give them to Jedity. Shall we prepare to attack Sandro's army sir? Yes, we had best do that. And quickly, that Sandro is a sly one. He could be right under our noses. He is said to strike as suddenly and silently as a wraith. Prepare your men. Word travels fast in these parts, and you think to yourself, so much for a surprise attack. Yoink. Okay, that's actually pretty huge. Okay, that's his main army there. Okay, we are all oh, got capital in there. Nice, nice, nice. Things are looking good, boys. Liking where this is going. Survive the early game. Kinda. <laughs> Without our difficulties, but we did survive it. Let's grab marketplace. I think they'd be foolish enough to attack that. Although they don't have a base, so maybe they would. Nope, he's gonna retreat. Oh, okay. By now, all the fools standing between you and Deja know about the artifacts you carry. However, there has been no official response to your message. This could mean a few things. They are quietly preparing for a surprise attack. They don't believe you are a threat worthy of serious consideration, or they are very weak and easily frightened people. You suspect the latter explanation and wonder what Etheric was thinking when he enlisted these people into his cause. Oh, 
Right, the Siamese getting pretty ferocious now. Raising the dead liches really is ridiculous. Pathfinding and logistics, jeez. This is painful chasing people around. Well, we can take them out. Lovely, lovely. Grab the resources back. Alright, I think we need to head this guy off at the pass as well. I think he's probably going to take my base. Or he's going to try. Yeah, this guy, I think he is probably going to make a play for the base. Because he hasn't got a base, to my knowledge. Which means that they're going to run out of turns. So they're going to have to make a play. I just need Sandro to be in position. If Just in case he does take my base, I'm in position to take it back. Especially as it's like day seven. That <laughs> could be real bad. All right, let's see how this plays out. Yeah, okay, I thought you might do that. All right, let's see what we can do just to weaken them as much as possible. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm, I kind of feel like I've got to do as much damage and just kill as many as possible. Yeah, we should probably take this. Fight. Okay, I'll move him out of the way. I need the only got two spell powers, so that only lasts one more turn. Like, there's no chance of winning this fight, but what we do want to do is try and weaken our opponent as much as possible. And they got a serious morale issue. <laughs> Well. Okay, that should force the Pegasi to attack. Hopefully we could do some damage to their Pegasi if nothing else. I mean, if we can kill the Pegasi, that would be awesome. Because of their effect on uh, magic costs. Nice. Okay, getting rid of those. That is actually a big deal. That is a, that is a worthy sacrifice. Can we get to the base in time? Is the question. Oh, just, just. It's a good trade. Wow, especially when we get fifteen liches back. All right, we should be in prime position to take this uh, this mission now. Just need to find the others and, uh, and slaughter them with 41 liches. <laughs> Grab ourselves out of the city hall, because Mona. And wipe out the rest of Tan. We've got the biggest army and the best hero. Cool. I'm happy with that. So we've got Inferno, Stronghold, Stronghold. Time's basically dead. Oh, you can't be. What is that movement? Are you sh kidding me? What? The 
the hell? Genuinely gobsmacked at that. A spy returns with word has come about internal conflicts among your enemies. Your old friend Jedity and his allies want to seize the artifacts and promptly return them to Etheric. However, two other allied stronghold towns to the north and the northeast want the artifacts to remain in their possession. According to your advisors, Lord Jabarkas, the leader of these two towns, is Etheric's le illegitimate younger brother, suffers from little man syndrome. It seems that J Jabarkas has always been envious of his older pr brother's prestige and you suspect that he believes he can gain more respect from his peers were he to have the two artifacts. You permit yourself a sinister smile. Psychological attacks are the kind of thing you enjoy the most. With any luck, your enemies might just kill each other off and you can pass through to Deja like a shadow in the night. Oh, this slow movement is absolutely... Devastatingly. I think Tan's just going to get eliminated by not having a base at this rate. A lot of money. Wonderful. Let's turn down. It's not like we can get any more XP, unfortunately, this mission. <laughs> oh, that's a big army.
definitely need Vamp Lords. Interesting. I want to get this guy down here. I've got to stop this guy. That's a problem. Can't do with anyone other than Sandro. Dreadful news, sir. A soldier frantically runs up to you and tells you that someone broke into your quarters, slashed your linens and drove a large sword through the middle of your bed. Attached was a note saying, Sandro, death to you and all who would follow you. I will seize these artifacts for you have stolen. The note was unsigned. Sir, I'm sorry to report that the intruder, whoever it was, came and went undetected. The soldier continues, and the news gets worse, sir. The intruder took your hidden gold, all of it. A thousand apologies, sir. With a snarl, you raise your sword and lop the soldier's head. You could have been assassinated had you slept in your bed last night. Your troops need to be better trained in the art of defending against covert attacks. Damn straight they do. anything I'm just curious where this takes me wow okay they are streaming across another city down here. Okay, interesting.
beautiful. I won't win, but I'll make it difficult for them. Use this guy. Okay. She's not that strong, actually. Six three one one. Got magic and um, resistance. Interesting. Well, there goes my scouting. It's yellow and green are allies, or orange and green, I should say. Trying to pet trace people with um, path finding is a nightmare. Found purple. Interesting. Okay, so purple and orange must be on the left hand side and then green on the right hand side. Alright, well, I'll go for the two for the two for one deal. So, yeah, if we kill orange and purple, and then we'll just have to deal with green afterwards and hope they don't base trade with us, which kind of looks like they're gearing up to do. Could do better than that. You've got to raise all the dead, you see.
<laughs> so powerful. Don't want to scare him off just yet, though. This place looks familiar. You have a hazy memory of bringing a beautiful maiden here several years back, and your thoughts are interrupted when one of your spies approaches. Sir, Lord Jabarkus knows you are in the area and is planning to kill you. He has not forgotten you kidnapping his daughter and violating her. He has recruited a large army from another stronghold in the northeast and plans to attack you shortly. Did he make mention of the artifacts, you ask? No, sir. Well done. Dismissed. That army is going to be a problem to deal with. Interesting, so purple invaded orange, nabbed their base. In fact, let's get a uh, magic and see what we get. Okay, we officially got lightning bolt, that's good since we've only got a spell scroll at the moment. That's nice. So I presume purple must be further up north. Oh man, green is going to be a problem. They are like going all in against our lands. Alright, let's get another scout, see what's crackalacking up here. Oh, there's the purple key master guard. Okay. Well, purple must have been able to find a way around that because they've taken over Orange's base. Hmm. Okay, well, if she keeps doing that, she can absolutely muller her own army. <laughs> Considering you lose troops every time you go for a whirlpool. So, keep doing that, please. And thank you. Okay, Orange actually gone now. Okay, that's awesome. So, we've got down... Um, yeah, we've got Terek. That's a pretty big army. That's a problem. You could probably deal with that with what we've got here, though. And luckily we've got loads of money. Grand Elves, one hundo. Alright, let's see if we can take purple out. We can take purple out with the main army and then we'll deal with green after. We just need to protect our bases as best we can. <laughs> Make sure the enemy doesn't just waltz in and grab them all for free. It's a random quest. Okay, well he's not attacking, that's good. I mean, if they just take all the mines, I'm okay with that. Frustrating, but it's, it is what it is. Okay, well, they all seem to be unsure of what to do. Oh, hello. Sure. Take that. Purple's not long for this world anyway. <laughs> With that many liches, I really am not bothered. Okay. So he must be walking a long way around. Let's just get another hero just to do another little scout, just to make sure I haven't missed something obvious. 
There's a path up here. I don't. F I'm going to assume that doesn't lead to where we want to go, but. Definitely seems like they're walking quite a long way around. But I don't think we actually need that purple key master turn. I mean, it would have made life, life easier in terms of being able to cut out the whole. venture. Okay, we've got several arch devils. That's I'm not too concerned, but it is a problem. Let's grab all the gear. So who's this? Okay, this is Shiva. That's a problem. There's no way we defend this base, unfortunately. Best we can do is kill as much as poss. You'd probably kill her actually. Yeah, just check there's no one else around. Okay, so he's on a boat, so we can't take the base. So yeah, let's just pop her off. Lovely. Mm, nice and arena. Take that. see if what we can kill. I mean, to be careful, if we can kill the um, rocks and the wyverns, if nothing else. There we go. So she's not that strong here. I mean, 7-5. I mean, that's better than when we last saw her, but it's not that insane. Yeah, use the retaliation on the wyvern with the one goblin, perfect. I mean, she's got no mana or magic either, so there is a possibility here, actually. But it's the uh, seven, seven ancient behemoths. That is, that's no joke. Twenty-seven ogre lords as well. Ooh. Yeah, the ancient bees, they're the big boys. They're the ones we really need to take out. I really wish they wouldn't target them, but okay. I mean, even if we whittle down the Ancient Bay and Moss, I mean, that would be a win, really. Use the Harpies as fodder. <clears throat> Oh, okay, that was a an oversight.
Oh, damn. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> hmm. That's bad. Just kill what we can, I guess. It was highly unlikely we were ever going to win this fight anyway, so... It is what it is. Even if I went on. Uh, yeah. See if we can at least kill some orcs, I suppose. There's no way we kill an ancient female from that position. Just split the troops and see if we can. Uh, Get another shot of the tower. <laughs> you know, all things considered, that was a pretty good defense. Could have been better. Definitely some mistakes there, but. It was never really going to result in a win anyway. I think she's got what it takes. I mean, she, defense, defensively, yes. Offensively, I don't think so. That is a strong army. Maybe between the two of them, we can. That does leave my base exposed, though. Get them in a turn anyway, even if we wanted to, so. Whoa, what is that? Is that fly? That actually might be good for us. Ironically. We need a um, Mercury. That seemed like fly, right? The way that she was moving through terrain. Just interesting. I'm not even sure we could beat that, even with all this army. Five ancient Bayamos mans, no joke. What the hell? Ways to just decimate your own army, I suppose. Since you lose troops every time you go through a whirlpool. I mean, is it worth trying? It's literally right outside my base. Jesus.
Just really hoping we do the old, uh... Jesus Christ. Price for that. <laughs> Still target the skeletons. Raising us. Costed me a hell of a lot, but I no, took him down. Oh, 16 attacks. Oh, he's got Titan's Gladius. Presumably. Be expensive. Why has everyone got resistance?
Oh wait, he's not slowed. Ah, oh, okay. Back to be honest. Nice. All right, so I should be able to get to green from here as well. So where's Tarek then? Ah, probably the one there. Oh shit, son. Never mind, he's right there. Ooh, that's a problem. Oh shit. How oh, very annoying. Kyle doesn't stand a chance, he needs a 16 attack hero. In fact, none of my guys do, quite frankly. If he doesn't attack me, that's fantastic. If he does attack me, I'm buggered. I've definitely lost that base. There's no way I defend it. Black dragons now as well. Great. Oh, we can't reach green this way. Damn. Okay. Jesus. It's a movement, aren't they? Man, 16 attack. He's got Titan's Gladius for sure. 100%. Unfortunately, no chance. As much as I'd love to be able to beat this guy, do not see it happening. We 
can do though is try and make it as painful as possible. Oh, what a dumb thing to me to do. Shit. That was really bad. Damn it, I knew I should have done it. Oh. Well, actually, maybe that worked out better. Not the one we would have killed, and we killed a load of roof raiders, so. Time to kill Green. Oof, this has been a tough mission. I really need logistics and pathfinding like you would not believe. Oh, my movement is so dire. It's literally tragic. <laughs> oh my god, literally chasing these enemies around the map is the worst thing in the world.
Oh god. Oh, it's so painful. I've got like five movements of heck. Oh my Christ. I can't, I literally can't even keep up with anyone. Why level five? Why only level five? Like, so. Oh, frustrating. I'm just going to leave it frustrating. He can't take the dose. <laughs> Why? Why would it be on that side? Ah, oh, damn it. The pain is real. I'm confident they can uh, they can win that fight. Oh god. Is that fly? Or is that like angel wings? Because that is a pain. <laughs> oh my days. Oh god, T-Rex there as well? Christ. Thing is, no one's going to fight Sandro and they can all move faster than Sandro's. Ugh. This is goddamn painful. You know what, whatever, don't care. No, I'm killing you. Oh, <laughs> shit. Ah. Uh, okay. Two, one, two, two. Two, no, two. Basically the same. My Christ, what is this movement, man? <sighs> Jeez Louise. That's a high tier army if ever I've seen one.
first. He's blocking the ancient bales from getting in the city, so that's great. Seven Ancient Bamos might just be enough, potentially. So t one does the same damage as seven. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, no fucking chance. That's a tough fight. Don't really like the idea of leaving that base exposed, but in the same token, I need to take my bases back, so it is what it is. Mercury night. Right, no fucking chance. How strong is Jabarkus again? Mm. 
I think he was pretty strong, but I don't think he's that strong. We should be able to beat this guy. Surely. Take that. Lost basically everything, but we killed him. Well, I say killed him temporarily. He'll be back. Finally clearing these enemies though. This movement is goddamn painful, I tell ya. Eric's back as well. Son of a gun. I just can't stop any of these things. It's so fast. Pack several, pack several, few. And even that's a bit of a challenge. No way. No way! No, 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 no. Surely not. Jesus, surely, surely. Wow. Kill the dragon. No, don't target the hot. God damn it. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. That movement is infuriating. Chain light. Actually, I don't think I've got, I've got advanced basic wisdom. Great. Be fair, no, this Shiva should probably kill me. Zubin, no chance. You need to go down.
God damn it. Wow. Fair play, lad. Fair play. Okay, well, they got attack me. I don't have any bases, so. Okay, well he can't even take this base anyway, even if he wanted to. Not with that army, surely. I oh, know I've been like surprised before, but surely not. GG's boys, GG's. Whew. That was a tough ass mission. Rise of Necromancers 1.